Okay, I wanted to do a separate video on this because I still have quite a bit to talk about. I'm not doing a spoiler review. I wanted to, but thinking about it, this can be a whole video in and of itself. The end credit scene, or should I say the mid credit scene that they have for Venom, Let There Be Carnage, actually has me pretty darn excited. So basically, Eddie and Venom are sitting in this hotel room. Venom's explaining to Eddie, you know, I have all these years of knowledge, and he's like, Eddie's like, okay, well, give me a, a taste of that because my mind can't handle it. And before he does that, they get transported to a different universe, a different hotel room that is much nicer, much cleaner, and on the TV plays Tom Holland's mask being revealed, or basically Tom Holland's identity being revealed to the public, and that he's Spider-Man. And when Venom walks up to that screen, he looks at him and he says, that guy, and he licks the screen. Venom is going to be temporarily in the MCU. Now, what does that mean going forward? Well, first of all, let's just say, or should I say, how does Venom know Spider-Man? He said the symbiotes are more like a hive mind, so they experience different things. Maybe there's a Venom from a different world that encounters Spider-Man. Or maybe Venom will be in No Way Home. And we'll probably know Spider-Man in a very different way, which is the discussion of this video. I personally believe that Venom will be in No Way Home. The Lizard may very well be in there. May. But I firmly, I'm just going to say it right now, if he's not in the actual movie, that's fine. But I feel like he's going to be in the post credit scene. They, they go, they're going to do it. Just trust me. But he basically said the symbiotes are like a hive mind. So my biggest explanation that I have for that as to why he would know, maybe not that Spider-Man, but he knows Spider-Man, is because, remember, the symbiotes are like a hive mind, and the biggest theory is that Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield are going to be in No Way Home. Of course, if Tobey Maguire is in No Way Home, think about what that means. Tover Grace's Venom was killed by Peter Parker, a different universe. So when he gets there, that hive mind kicks in, or the connection, and he's gonna know who Spider-Man is. So that's why when he looked at the screen, he said, that guy, and he has animosity towards him. So I cannot wait to see when Tom Hall and Spider-Man and Tom Hardy's Venom meet together and they clash. The other theory that I have is once Venom gets his hands on Spider-Man, I don't think the symbiote's gonna get on him, or it may temporarily, but either way, He's going to get that white spider on him. Trust me, it's going to happen. I can almost guarantee it's going to happen. Because once he encounters them, he gets some of those Spider-Man abilities. That logo is going to be there, and then he's going to officially become the Venom that we just look at and we're like, oh, that's definitely the Venom. Either way, this was a smart move on Sony and Disney's part. This is something that's going to have the fans excited. I still wish, and I'm telling you guys right now, I'm still hoping that one day, which we probably won't, but one, just one day, we please get an R-rated Venom, because that's something I feel like we're missing, but for now, what'd you guys think? Ah, I, I loved it. Comment below, let me know, and as always, like, share, and as always, subscribe today to join the Azalization.